I looked through every tool, setting, and chart layout to find 10 amazing hidden gems on TradingView that you probably didn't even know existed. Hell, even I didn't know about some of them. What? I didn't know about this. So the reason I put all this together is for one solution, how to become a better trader using TradingView. Or even more specifically, how do I become a better trader using TradingView? So I decided to record all the cool hidden gems I found with you guys. So yeah. Leave a like, will ya? If you've watched my videos before, you should definitely know I absolutely love TradingView. In my mind, it's easily one of the best chart platforms out there just because it has everything. To start us off, let's go to TradingView. I'll leave a link in the description. If we go to the chart section, this is where the majority of the gems await us. The first gem is the replay tool. Now, I use this one all the time. You can use this tool to replay past chart history. Now, you might be asking, Siri, why do I need to replay past chart history? To learn, you dumb motherfucker. A bit rude, but Siri's right. To become a better trader, practice is everything. And when looking at a full chart the next day, it's easy to say, Oh yeah, I would have definitely entered right there. With this tool, you can go to any time frame, click wherever you want to start, and play out the chart as it would look in real time. Now, it is going to show full candles from the open to close, so it's not exactly like live trading, but still extremely useful for practice. To do this, just click the replay button up here, it'll then pop up with a window in this blue selection line. Click whatever candle you want to start at and simply click play. If you want to speed it up or slow it down, you can simply move this dial and it'll do so. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This next tool I literally use every single day and it's a major time saver. If you've watched any of my trading strategy videos, you will instantly figure out that a lot of them have multiple indicators with very specific settings. Whenever setting up these strategies, it can be very annoying because you have to search for multiple indicators and go through each and every one and adjust the parameters, settings, and colors to your liking for every single indicator. Then if you want to switch to a different strategy, you have to do it all over again, which if you do it enough, you could waste multiple hours doing just this. Well, let me show you how I speed up this process. The template tool. This tool is a huge time saver. How it works is you simply add all the indicators that you need for whatever strategy you're doing, then change the settings to whatever your liking is. Once you have all the indicators added to your liking, go to this template button, click save indicator template, name it, and it'll save all these indicators and their settings as a template. So here I have multiple different trading strategies I use. I can just switch through them with the click of a button and not have to spend 10 minutes adjusting them every single time. Huge time saver. Speaking about time saving, I bet you didn't know TradingView has a list of keyboard shortcuts you can use. Just click this hamburger menu up here, scroll down to keyboard shortcuts, then click whatever section you're interested in, and it'll give you a list of keyboard shortcuts for that category. So as you can see, there's a lot. So I'm not going to go through each and every one because that's boring, but just know they're there. Now have you ever thought, oh I want to remember to get in this stock when it reaches this number, or oh this company has really good earnings, I want to remember that. Well what I used to do was have a physical journal on my desk and write these notes down down whenever I thought of them, so I could easily just look down and remember that certain thought. The thing is, when trading, sometimes seconds can be the difference between you making money or you losing money. So the more tools you have on the screen where you already are, it'll make your life a whole lot easier and will make you a much more efficient trader. That's when the notes tool comes into play. Just like a journal, you can write down whatever you want to remember about your trading plays and have it easily accessible right on your chart. Simple, but a must if you want to be organized. Speaking about having tools on your chart, you guys are going to like this one. Imagine being able to actually trade directly on TradingView. Well, TradingView made that possible. Simply just click the trading panel button and it'll pop up some popular brokers that work with TradingView. Lots of these brokers are for stocks, some are for forex, some are crypto brokers, but it gives you a pretty big selection. But you just simply click your broker, sign into your account, and you can enter and exit trades right from TradingView, which is freaking awesome. TradingView also offers an option for paper trading. So maybe you're new to trading and want to practice with fake money, you can simply set up an account and trade with fake money directly on TradingView to see if your trades are successful and to see if you would make money or not, which is absolutely great for beginners. Moving on, a huge part of trading is seeing a chart from multiple perspectives and different time frames. Maybe you want to see a one minute chart and a five minute chart in real time on one screen. Or maybe you want to see a stock you're day trading and the S&P 500 side by side to see if they're 
are correlated. Well, that's when the chart layout tool comes in. Just click this chart icon right here. You can select however many charts you want at once on one screen, and they give you a ton of selections to choose from. You also have the option to sync your charts. So maybe you want the charts to switch to whatever ticker symbol at the same time, or maybe you want to set it to where if you draw a line on one chart, you want it to show up on the other. You can do so. This next gem is insanely useful, and you probably didn't even know about it because it's pretty hidden. So what you do is go to whatever stock you're interested in, then of course in the bottom right you have this details page. Here it'll show you some key facts about the stock, like the volume, earnings, income statement, and so on. Which is pretty cool, but it gets a lot cooler. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see there's this meter. One for a rating for the technicals, and one for the analyst rating. But if we look closely, right below this meter is a little button that says more technicals. Click it and it'll bring up this. Three meters. One for oscillators, one as a summary, and one for moving averages. Then if you scroll down, it'll show you exactly how it produced these ratings and what factors into them on being a buy or sell, which is insanely cool. Then on top of that, you can switch between different time frames. So you can see if something is bullish or bearish on the one minute time frame, or see what it's like for the long term on the one week time frame. Also, as a side note, all of these meters move in real time. Now, I'm definitely not saying, oh, if all three of these meters are a strong buy, you should definitely enter a position. I'm not saying that at all, but it is a nice feature to look at to get a second perspective to back up your trading play. So check it out. Next little gem we have is for chart looks. I get this question all the time. How did you get your chart to look like that? Mine looks so bad compared to yours. Well, little Jimmy, let me help you out. If you didn't know, the default trading view, it looks like this. In my eyes, kind of ugly and not very clean. To customize it to your liking, you can click the setting wheel and it'll take you to the chart settings. Here you can change the color of your candlesticks, price line, or whatever you like. You can also go to this appearance tab and change the background of your chart. This is also where you can turn off these annoying background grid lines to make your chart look a lot cleaner. And just like the indicator templates like we talked about before, you can do the same type of thing for your chart settings. But first, can we just acknowledge how disgusting this chart looks? That's disgusting. Disgusting. Once you have the settings you want, go down here and click the save layout. This way, if you want to change between two different layouts fast, you can. Also, if you don't have dark mode on, what are you doing? It's a lot better for your eyes and, in my opinion, a lot more clean looking than the original look. To do that, just click this hamburger menu up here and enable the dark color theme and boom, your trading view looks actually decent now. Next are some of my favorite trading tools. Now, I see a lot of beginners when drawing their support and resistances, they use this original trend line tool and draw from one point to another. The thing about this is it's not going to be perfectly straight and it's going to be crooked. That's when you use the horizontal line tool and it'll draw a horizontal line all the way across your chart in a perfect straight line. Which brings me to my next point. Say if you're drawing an ascending support line with the trend line tool. As time goes on, the chart plays out and you're going to have to constantly move your line up, which can be a pretty annoying process. Well, the solution, just use this extended line tool and select your two points and it'll go on indefinitely so you never have to move it. One final tip for the tool section, say if you have a bunch of lines and drawings on your chart and you just want to look at a clean chart, instead of deleting every single line and having to redraw them later, you you can just click this icon right here and you can select if you want to hide your drawings, indicators, or whatever you want, which can be pretty useful at times. This last one is probably one of the coolest hidden gems on all of TradingView. So maybe you have a specific trading strategy, where you enter when the indicators do a specific thing, or when price reaches a certain point, and you want to test simply if the strategy works. But you don't want to spend months testing it, or even worse, testing it with actual money and it being a losing trading strategy. Well, what if I told you you could backtest any single strategy on past years of stock data for any stock and see just how successful that strategy would have been. Well, to your surprise, you can do that on TradingView. Just click this Pine Editor tab and it'll bring you to where you backtest. Now, I'm going to warn you now, you probably need some type of coding experience to do this, but it's really not that hard and if I can learn how to do it, you can definitely learn how to do it. You just type all the code for the indicators and tell TradingView the parameters of when you want to enter 
enter and when you want to exit. Once you have all the code typed out, it'll pop up with all the statistical data and show you key metrics like the win percentage, how much you have made or lost, and so much other awesome data. It'll show you every single trade it took and where exactly it got executed. And you can even see it on the chart of where it took a long or short position. So why guesstimate on if a strategy is good or not? Use actual statistical evidence to see if your strategy works. If you haven't backtested before or don't really even know how to code, luckily for you, I made a video on the basics on how to backtest on TradingView. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.